Dang, that's so cool. Uh, okay, so I, because again, I don't think that you watch the like original kind of trilogy. So the Kwangya. So great day to play, everybody! Welcome on into the channel. Yeah. You know, for me being gone for like two weeks, that was pretty lackluster today. I thought that you'd like maybe, you know, be excited to be back. Oh. For all these people. Yeah. So excited. Well, Lucas is very, very excited to be here. I hope that you guys are more ex uh, excited to be here. But whether it's first time here, you were joining us. Thank you for being here with us today. Your love, appreciate it. Always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough. Today we're gonna be doing some girls from Aespa. Oh, Aespa. Aespa. Getting back into some Aespa. Ooh. I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, we did. Um, they're the ones that did the English one that sounded like the Beyonce song yes. that we did a couple yes, weeks yes, ago. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so people have told me, like, oh, they have another one that you guys need to do, and this was it. So I'm super, super excited. Um, really, really happy with how they're developing. And they've been coming here a lot, too. Like, it, there's, like, a K-pop renaissance happening in the, the U.S. right now. K-pop renaissance. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, the, it's like the original, like, artistic renaissance, but with K-pop, you know? Mm -hmm. But seriously, like... Because uh, we just went to Stray Kids, TXT is here. ATs, I think, announced their second tour now. Like, there's a bunch wow. of groups that are that are gonna be here. So I think in Hyphen announced their tour here as well. So it's just like we're getting we're getting all the shows. There's a lot but of shows super, super to go excited. to. Twice was here. Ace by I think is was either here or was gonna be here. Itzy's here. Like so many, so many things. And I'm very, very we out about here. It. We out here. All right, but let's uh, let's get into this uh, and just see. I have no idea what to expect here, so let's go. Floor girls. Yeah. Can we go there? Where does that exist? <laughs> Here it goes again. Dude, their pre choruses, man. Those K pop pre choruses always go so hard. They're just like, guess what's coming up? Guess what's coming up? And then they're like, bum, da, bum, just bleh, kidding. Bleh. <laughs> oh, man. Can we, can we talk about the ad libs in this? Yeah. I love, Whoop. like, just the, just the starting off the, the, ew, like, like, just like yeah. the little, like, oh, it's like, it's like adding kind of like, those like adorable elements into like the hard song so it's like i like this is it for me like i love yes. the harder sounds yeah, and then like the, like the, the release and then coming back in it because like after this pre-chorus it's going to get all nice and soft right. it's going to go back in and then hit you again yeah. in the in the chorus but like it's like back in the day when uh when like britney spears and christina aguilera were out yeah but then christina aguilera did dirty and you were like <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, I'm. Uh, I'm feeling you. Okay, I'm. I'm 14, and this is kind of weird for me right now. I'm just. I'm discovering <laughs> myself discover real quick. Myself. <laughs> but yeah, like, and in oh, the other thing, like that, I like about Aespa, and, and you've you've heard a couple things by them, and and their English one was a lot kind of like more like R&B, but I like them. And like Dreamcatcher has a very very similar thing where like they have kind of more of this like grungy like rock element to them that like yeah. I really 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 enjoy. Where like you got some of that like down. Okay. 
Okay. Dang, that's so cool. Uh, okay, so I, because again, I don't think that you watch the like original kind of trilogy. So the Kwangya is like this alternate universe where like they have these AI versions of themselves in, and okay. that's what you, that's what you're seeing here. Gotcha. And the Black Mamba, which is one of their songs that you like, kind of saw like the snake coming out and stuff, and like when they went to the floor, was that? That's like supposed to be like the the supreme evil thing in it mm -hmm. that they like they're fighting against so like that's where all this stuff like really comes into but it's like this cool really cool concept because it kind of mixes um have you ever heard of kda they're the ones that like wrote they were like a formation of a bunch of different like people from k-pop groups that like wrote i think it was for the uh, league of legends that like they did music for and it like kind of like took off Mm -hmm. but like it was kind of like all kind of like ai based and like that's like this kind of like formulates where like some of these groups have these uh, like these storylines, but for them, their storyline is almost like this alternate universe. It would fit really well in like a graphic novel or right. like anything else where like they really have all these things they can do with it, which is really cool. But this to them, like, because their songs are already were kind of like grungier and a little harder. Like this is a next level thing for them. Like they are going to start. They're going to start taking off, man. They have a lot. I'm happy because I'll be able lot. to go like this to their music, you know? How did that go? Can you do that one more time? <laughs> that was really good, man. Yeah, thanks. That was really good. Have you been practicing? I have been. Oh, I can tell. crazy dude that section though that section where it was like we're doing an eon flux soundtrack yeah. or you know like matrix reloaded reloaded soundtrack <laughs> matrix reloaded squared <laughs> yeah like okay so it, it's you can see though like the cool thing about their stuff is like instead of just singing about like real world things like the things that they're singing about and i know that like it's hard paying attention to the lyrics and everything at the same time but if you like, go back through their stuff they're singing about like this world like so all their songs are based around kind of this like alternate reality mm -hmm. this kwangya thing like they talked about the navis in there so like it's like imagine 
the difficulty because I don't even think that people realize that like writing music is already hard because if you're not like really in a place to write music right or mm -hmm. you don't know what you're writing about like it's harder to write you know yeah. what I mean like you think about back in the day when you were like you know all angsty you could write angsty music really well mm -hmm. but now you try to do it and it's just like I don't you don't feel that anymore right, right? so imagine just writing like a song like this it has to be like this good uh, just about like this random thing yeah I've, you know I've done I mean? one concept album in the past oh, like, and it's not super easy. Right. Yeah. So it's just like the fact that like they've done all this and it's really just based around the storyline. I just think it makes it so much cooler because like there is this whole aesthetic to it. Um, I feel like it'd be really cool the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when, especially when you mentioned like Anne Flux, yeah. like I, I feel like this would like be really, really cool at some point in time as like an actual like game, not like, like, like a mobile game. Like I mean like, you know. Yeah. 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 Just call it Acepa and people will be like, that's a game now. Yeah. You know, they wouldn't even think about it. They wouldn't even, even if they didn't know that it was a K-pop group. If they just presented it this if, way. If the that, game was good yeah. enough, they'd be yeah. like, let's roll. Let's you know, roll. how people play video games. But then they make it into like, like one of those like PUBG type games where it's like, be like all versus all. And then it would be like, yeah, yeah. then I wouldn't be as interested. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. This was, this was crazy. Uh, we might have to go back uh in, in a future week and go back and um have you do the original ones oh okay the original ones that lead up to this because I, sure. I think i did those on my own way when we first started it's because you're rude and um because you're a rude I person even, i don't even think you were doing reactions with me at that point in time yet <laughs> that's gonna be really annoying for the people at home actually i think i have the noise gate on and it might have canceled it out <laughs> yeah yeah that was the door closing on your statement that's what that was. What, what does that even mean? You said you said I wasn't doing reactions with you at the time. Always been here, day one, soldier. You weren't doing reactions with me at one point. Dunk. False. Okay. Wasn't until <laughs> you're like okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. fine. I accept that. Thanks, <laughs> thanks guys. I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know our videos come out. Check out our live stream Saturdays at noon Central Time uh, mm -hmm. on YouTube. Most of them are on Twitch though now, so you're gonna want to go over there. You can check out our music. We have a new single out now on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, all the other places that music exists. And if nobody told you that they love you today, don't forget that we love you. You are appreciated and always welcome here, and you are enough. And last but certainly not least. It was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.